The 90s was a magical time. Made some whoppers this morning. I lit the pilot light, <laughs> flame came up, and I brought them. Go ahead, you can eat it now. So many quick cuts and record scratches. Here's five goofy and sometimes edgy shows from the 90s you may have missed or forgotten about. The Edge. The Edge was a hyperfast sketch show where they tried to cram in as many inappropriate things as possible into each episode. They had running gags like how the entire cast would get killed at the beginning of each episode, or a series of quick bits about what someone was doing right this minute. What Chewbacca is doing right this minute. The show was created as a vehicle to showcase the comedic talents of Julie Brown, who was the star of the program. Brown was dating producer David Merkin, who helped her make the pilot The Julie Show. The pilot wasn't picked up, so they created this sketch comedy program The Edge and pitched it to NBC. NBC passed on it, but Fox picked it up because it fit in well with their edgy catalog and because they needed programs to fill in their lineup. The cast was stacked with actors and comedians who would go on to much bigger things. Tom Kenny. Wayne Knight, Jill Talley, and of course, Jennifer Aniston. The show premiered on the Fox Network on September 9th, 1992. The show lampooned all sorts of things, like overprotective parents, but what they skewered the most was celebrities. But you already have a closet full of manuscripts you haven't published yet. What do you mean? You mean these? <laughs> At the rate I'm publishing, I'll be through these in three weeks. <laughs> they had a longer bit that made fun of Beverly Hills 90210, and Aaron Spelling threatened to sue. The producer of The Edge refused to back down, and Spelling never went through with his threat. In reality, he was probably trying to throw his weight around, since 90210 and Melrose Place were huge shows on Fox, and he thought if he made a stink... A studio might intervene to keep him happy. In between sketches, they had short animations from the award-winning Bill Plimpton, who helped to keep up the weird vibe of the show. Well, Officer Cindy, you broke another one. Looks like he's ready to give a full confession. What's a confession? <laughs> Thanks again, Kid Cop. Officer Cindy is Kid Cop. The show never quite caught on, and as the seasons progressed, the studio gave them less and less money for each episode, until finally Merkin left. The Edge ran for one season with 18 episodes. The last one aired on May 2nd, 1993. The show was never released on DVD, but some of the episodes are available on YouTube. City Guys. City Guys is about two guys with very different backgrounds, learning about each other and becoming friends. It's very, very 90s. Think a slightly edgier version of Saved by the Bell. The show followed Jamal, who was from a working-class family, and Chris, who was from a rich family, as they went to Manhattan High School. Each episode, they learn a different aspect about the other, which teaches them that even though they're different, they can still be friends. The show tackles themes of bullying, racism, cheating, and so on. Oh, did I mention it's a sitcom? The first episode aired on September 6th, 1997. It was created to be a part of Teen NBC, or TNBC a block of live-action programming that ran on Saturday mornings that was geared towards a teenage audience. This wasn't made as a way to reach out to the teen audience. It was a cost-cutting maneuver. NBC wanted to get rid of the expensive Saturday morning cartoons and replace them with shows they made in-house, on the cheap, aimed at a teen audience. That way they could court larger commercial sponsors who were salivating to market to teenagers and their disposable income. And before you say teenagers don't have disposable incomes, look at how much money Fortnite makes. The show was a success since it didn't cost very much to make, and they were able to keep it going for five seasons with 105 episodes. The last episode aired on December 15, 2001. The show was never released on DVD, and it was running on Tubi, but the rights ran out recently, and the show is no longer available there. Some episodes are on YouTube. Unless they're planning on doing a physical release, I don't understand why they'd pull it off of Tubi. They seem to forget that many people would rather legally watch something but we'll sail the high seas if there is no other option. Teen Angel Teen Angel is one of those cheerful 90s sitcoms that make you overlook the fact that the main co-star is a dead teenager. The show is about two best friends, Steve and Marty. Marty eats a six-month-old cheeseburger he finds under Steve's bed and dies. Steve is depressed because not only is he indirectly responsible for his best friend's death, but his father just left, and now he's all alone with his single mother and sister. God's cousin Rod sends Marty back to Earth to be Steve's guardian angel. 
The show premiered on September 26th, 1997 on ABC. The premise is absurd, but ABC had a huge amount of faith in it. So much so, they placed it as part of their juggernaut TGIF block, which was loaded with hit shows like Family Matters, Step by Step, and Boy Meets World. The show was actually a retooling of Teen Angel and Teen Angel Returns, a drama produced by Buena Vista, which aired on the Disney Channel, which in and of itself was a retooling of the movie The Heavenly Kid from 1985. The new Teen Angel was produced by Buena Vista, and they took the concept of teen dying tragically and returning as a guardian angel to make it into a wacky comedy. Hi. You've been touched by an angel. The show is Marty helping Steve overcome his fears of talking to girls and talking to girls. The show is about 80% Steve being scared to talk to girls. While the network had a lot of faith in the show, it never caught on. It ran for one season with 17 episodes, with the last one airing on February 13th, 1998. Even though it was canceled, the show was nominated for three Young Adult Awards, Best Family TV Comedy Series, and Best Performance in a TV Comedy Series for both Steve and Marty. The show's never been released on DVD, but the full season is on YouTube. Australia's Naughtiest Home Videos This was a pilot episode spin-off of the popular Australia's Funniest Home Videos. The show was essentially what you would expect. It was like America's Funniest Home Videos, only with sexual situations and other adult-ish content. Nothing too bad, especially by today's standards. Mostly juvenile humor aimed at adults. The show aired on September 3rd, 1992. However, the show wasn't notorious for the content. It was notorious for what happened to it. The show was running on Australia's The Nine Network. The owner of the network, Kerry Packer, saw the show about halfway through and called the switchboard yelling to get that shit off my network. About 20 minutes into the show, it was unceremoniously cut off, claiming there was a technical problem which prevented them from airing the rest of it. We apologize for this interruption. Unfortunately, a technical problem prevents us continuing our scheduled program for the moment. In the meantime, we bring you a brief alternative program. In its place, they ran a rerun of the show Cheers and didn't speak of the show again. Packer went to the studio the next day to have a meeting with the executives to prevent something that he considered disgusting and offensive shit from ever airing on his network again. He demanded the program be destroyed. Fast forward to 2005, Kerry Packer dies of kidney failure at 68. Chris Noble, Channel 9's entertainment chief, hid the original tape. In 2008, they promoted the program as the show Carrie Packer didn't want you to see. They rebroadcast the show in its entirety, although some portions were censored, including a joke about fat kids, because it was considered to be no longer acceptable. Portions of the show were available on YouTube. Don't fall for what looks like 30 minutes of the show. It's someone who posted clips but then covered it up with Roblox or something. Breaker High Breaker High is like every high school TV show, but it's on a cruise ship. Breaker High is a teen comedy drama that aired on YTV in Canada and was also broadcast on UPN and Fox Kids in the US. You remember YTV? Where else could you see I Love Mummy? Like I said, the show was about a high school on a cruise ship. This allowed them to sidestep the usual problem with high school dramas that they take place pretty much in and around a high school, and now they can include interesting different locations each week. So now you have a show that's all the usual high school TV fare, and have it take place in Japan! Although, since they had no real budget, Japan was just a room with shoji screens and samurai swords. The show premiered on September 15th, 1997. It was produced by Saban Entertainment, and sadly, there were no Power Rangers crossover events. Some notable actors on the show were Tyler Labine, Rachel Wilson, and Ryan Gosling, who played Sean Stanley Hanlon, the nerd. Hey guys, what about me? Uh, 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 you be Princess Leia. Yeah, yeah. Come on, I'm always Princess Leia. He's come a long way, hasn't he? Show ran for one season with 44 episodes. The last episode aired on March 30th, 1998. The show hasn't been released on DVD, but many of the episodes were on YouTube. When Disney bought Fox, they also acquired the American Library for Saban Entertainment. But for whatever reason, the show isn't available on Disney+. Plus. Apparently, MTV used to air the show in syndication when it wasn't running non-stop marathons of ridiculousness. I swear, 
YouTube's becoming the archive for these shows, with the studios refusing to ever officially release them. Well, that's another five shows. I don't know about you, but I feel the need to go put on some neon shoelaces, chug a surge, and head on down to BK. Thank you. This place! <laughs> Marty, you have a good soul, but you could never stay out of trouble. I know. It is only because of your extreme youth that we are considering your admission into heaven. All right, tried as a minor. <laughs>